because yes you do deserve to rest and yes there is going to come a time god is going to call a meeting where he's like listen no work today or no work this weekend or no work for the rest for these two weeks you know god will call you into rest yes he will right so but you got to know again you got to know the season that you're in you have to know the tasks at hand <laughs> you have to know these tasks at hand right you bless me with these gifts I'm not trying to lose it. I know I've been so still and sitting in it. Oh, yeah. You know I'm going through it. You say there's no excuse, just do it. All I know is I need you right Peace, love, light, wisdom, guidance, blessings, and discernment, beautiful souls. In this work, I don't know we are not of this world. Cool to be every day. I don't know the thing already. And honestly, I'm not going to be here too long. But I did want to stop by because, number one, me just being real, all right, in our real life. Being in my purpose, doing this ministry keeps me up, Okay. And that's in any way, shape, or form you can think of. It keeps me up. It keeps me going. And the other day, I did a video about discipline and motivation. It's not every time that motivation is going to be knocking at your door and boosting you up. You know what I'm saying? But when you remain in your purpose, when you do, even when you don't feel like doing, like right now. For example, right now, I'm on here. I'm about to give something that's been on my heart. And prior to hitting record, right? I was not feeling it. I felt like... You know, I just want to go to bed. Not to mention all the things that I've been doing on a nonstop day-to-day -day basis. I am tired physically. Your girl is tired, right? But that comes with the... You have to know what you're doing in life. You got to know, like, where you headed, what's your vision, what's your goals. You got to know what comes with it. So I know that what I'm, you know, purpose for my calling and what I'm set out to do, I know that it's going to call for some late nights. It's going to call for some early risings. It's going to call for some, for some tiredness. So when you, th when you remember the vision at hand, it will help you, right? So hopping on here, saying, you know, I got to share with the visionaries because it's real. This right here already is motivating me. If you want to look for motivation, right, so it can pair up with your discipline so that way you feel like you tag teaming out here, then you got to remain in your purpose. You have to push, push. Yes, it took a lot for me to push, to come on here but being that i push and i'm on here and as i'm doing it, i'm like you know what yeah and when i get off from here guess what i'm gonna do the things that's on my to-do list that i was thinking about kind of putting it off for tomorrow you know when you when you say you know i'm gonna put it off for tomorrow tomorrow i got more time or tomorrow i could just do this at this time guess what tomorrow turns into the next day and then the next day and then the next day and then the next day i'm telling you this from experience y'all you gotta know the vision you gotta know the goal you gotta know the the the, the calling you gotta know the purpose and then you got to know what comes with it. That way, when tiredness do slap you, you can't say, you know what? Manuel said it's part of the process. And I know it's not going to always be. So, I can keep going. I can keep going because this tiredness is temporary. This tiredness is temporary. This too shall pass. This, 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 um, <laughs> this late nights is temporary. This too shall pass. These early, early rises is temporary. This too shall pass. Me having to go work out six to seven days a week is temporary. This too shall pass. You got you to gotta rem remind yourself, right? Remind yourself of where you at and what you're doing and what the goals are what you have set out for you what god has set out for you okay listen uh, i wanted to <laughs> i wanted to share something uh, specific but look i just i'm flowing right now and this is what's coming out right now and i feel like a lot of people need to know this on the discipline and motivation video so many people reached out and said oh my goodness like this 
and that's what i love that's what i'm here for that's what i do what I, I that's what i do that's why i do this you know because i know it's not just me or tiara although it feel like it sometimes although being in solitude is like dang Abba, i'm the only one out here that's trying to, but i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not and i know this and so i just want to share with you guys Make sure you know that pushing yourself, I like to tell my, my music clients, my vocal clients and stuff like that, especially vocal clients, I like to tell them, thrust through that note. Thrust past that, 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 that crack or that, that break, you know? Thrust past it. If you hold back, you're gonna strain. If you hold back, you're gonna crack more. If you hold back, it's not gonna be the abundant sound of the, the delivery that you can do, that you can absolutely deliver. It's not gonna be. Thrust, thrust. And so I'm, I'm here to tell you today to thrust. I'm here to tell you today, you know, that's what I'm gonna name this, that's what I'm gonna name this, um, this video right here. I'm here to tell you today to thrust. Thrust through the thoughts that's telling you, you know what, you're tired, you had a long week, and you deserve, yes, you do deserve to rest. Yes, I, I did a video on that too before, and I could do a next one, so we could brush up on it, because yes, you do deserve to rest. And yes, there is gonna come a time, God is gonna call a meeting where he's like, listen, no work today, or no work this weekend, or no work for the rest, for these two weeks. You know, God will call you into rest. Yes, he will, right? So, but you got to know, again, you got to know the season that you're in. You have to know the tasks at hand. <laughs> you have to know these tasks at hand, right? And so right now, literally, I'm five minutes into this video and I'm already like fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm telling you, prior to this, I was like, oh. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I, I, I'm just going to rest. I'm, no. It's called perseverance. It's called discipline. It's called consistency. It's called faithfulness. My God. It's called faithfulness. And speaking of, y'all want to tune into the Cool Baby Express's podcast. We're finishing out season two, and we almost there. It's going to end at episode 12. And let me tell you, episode 12 is commitment to faithfulness. You want to tune into that one. Go to the website, okay? Go to the website to, to, to tune in. All right, I think we're on episode 10 right now. So we got 11 to go and then 12, commitment to faithfulness. Listen, commitment right so when i'm thinking about all those things and i know what's up ahead of me i know the road that god has taken me and what i have to do and what i have to accomplish up there i'm per I'm, per I'm persistent i'm persisting no 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 i'm thrusting i'm trusting trusting and thrusting okay i'm doing all of the above because nobody's gonna do it for me no, nobody not gonna do it for me. I have to do it for me, all right? And you can sit down there all you want to all day, every day, thinking that somebody just gonna come save you or somebody gonna come drop something in your lap or something. No, and let me tell you how God don't work that way either. Now when he's seeing that you're not putting your hands to the plow, and scripture tell us, put your hands to the plow. You have to put your hands to the plow. God created us to work. And when I talk about no nine to five, I mean, some of, some of us nine to five, depending on the industry, that is your calling, right? That, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not like, I'm talking about a purpose. Like, yeah, you could be working a nine to five as a doctor, but your purpose don't have to be, oh, I work in a hospital. You don't got to be, um, you don't got to be just subjected to a hospital building. No, you could be a doctor that you know do your own practice and that travel doing it and that's just an example but your work when i say work i mean your purpose if you just go into a nine to five and some of us are because some of us are utilizing nine to five just to get where we know we're gonna be just to get where we know and nothing's wrong with that beloved midday all right so i'm here with you i'm here with you okay i'm here with you but if you just work in a nine to five with no goal no vision no dream no nothing Minanoa Fatelio. And you're going to be real upset 
when years and decades are going by and you just watching it fly by and you're just like yo what is life what is life you're gonna be one of those bitter people that just think that life is nothing and it's non-valuable and there's no abundance in it and all these things let's not y'all there's too much abundance that is on the inside of us that once we exude it outside of us can you imagine the life that you will live and i'm not talking about material things but they count too that that's the good thing about god that's the goodness of god he don't just give you spiritual blessings but he give you this world we live in he give you the material blessings too that's the God that we serve. And I know, boy, you, that's the God that I serve. And I'm I'm alive to witness to you. And, and, and my life right now is nothing compared to what he's going to do, beloved. So I want you to know that you just got to thrust. Thrust. When you don't feel like doing it, thrust. And one thing I want to mention is, you know, I'm going to leave this for my next video. But I'll say a snippet. Pray, especially when you feel like. It's going to take everything in you to pray. That's when you want to pray the most. A next video on that is coming soon. Okay? But make sure you are thrusting. Thrusting past your tiredness. Thrusting past your negative thoughts. Thrusting past your draining feeling. Thrusting past their strategies. You know what I'm going to do in the next video? I, you know, I got to write these videos on the... on. Uh, I got to write a list. I normally keep them in my notes. But I'm going to write on a list on my calendar board. So that way... I can literally get these videos out ASAP. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video of a couple number of strategies that's gonna help you on how to thrust. Okay, but if you get the picture so far and you know what you need to do to trust, trust that and thrust. Please do it and do it now. Don't wait. Now is not the time. Whew, I love you guys so much. Like I said, make sure you go to the website, www.cb17visions.com. Go to the website for the podcast, okay? We're ending season two. We're going to be jumping into season three real soon. Um, for all other endeavors, music with Cooley, if you want to book a vocal, songwriting, audio engineering, dance lessons, we offer webcam lessons as well. Um, listen, go to the website. You will be able to book there. If you want to book a feature with music artist coolie baby go everything you need is on the website okay i love you guys so much bless up yourself and trust yo my twang is like when i say trust and then thrust and then just thrust okay make sure you thrusting in this season and the next and the next and the next all right remember it's all temporary a lot of things the tiredness the late nights all a lot of things are temporary and what the scriptures say this too shall pass and believe me it will i love you so much peace love flight wisdom guidance i'm blessed this beautiful souls cool to be every day you done the thing already thrust now thrust <laughs>